Shalom Uvracham. Uh, today we'll talk about Hanukkah. And uh, we talk already a little bit about uh, Hanukkah, right? We, maybe today we'll see something more. You probably pay attention already that each hour festival has a, not only historical event that happened, but also there is some uh, idea that stand behind this uh, festival. For example, Pesach. There is a historical event that we went out from Egypt, and also the idea of uh, Pesach is uh, freedom. The same you can see in uh, Rosh Hashanah. There is historical event. It was creation of man. And the idea of uh, this uh, it's um, that the uh, day of judgment that uh, Kadosh Baruch Hu judge us. That uh, and. All our festivals like this, and in Hanukkah, we know there is a we historical historical event that we won in war, and also it was a miracle of uh, if, um, with oil. And but what's the idea of Hanukkah? And that's what we'll try to understand today. But also, I'll tell you, like, uh, uh, how you say, like, uh, in, in, in uh, Besograim, like, uh, how? Brackets. in rackets? Brackets. Br brackets? Brackets. In brackets, I'll see, you, like, uh, uh, a part that uh, it's not so easy that we celebrate uh, this hist uh, in historical event, that we, uh, this. Uh, winning in war, victory. Because uh, we had a lot of victories in our history. You know, it's not first time that Jews uh, uh, won war. And also miracle. It's very difficult to say that it's uh, such a great miracle. We had uh, a lot of other miracles that we never celebrate them. For example, uh, when uh, Joshua, he stopped uh, sun and moon in the sky, and they didn't move. It's a uh, much more uh, impressive and uh, great, huge event than, uh, than this kind of miracle that uh, oil was uh, in another few, few days. So what? Or... You can say there are also we had the story in Gemara that uh, Rabbi Hanina Ben Dosa said uh, uh, to vinegar. Vinegar say is uh, vinegar which should also will burn. Who said to oil that it will burn? Vinegar also can burn, and uh, that's what happened. So why we not make a festival with uh, with these uh, miracles? But in order to, to, and to explain that, we have to know that main idea of history, it's history of spirits, spiritual history. As the Kadosh Baruch Hu revealed himself in nature, the same way he revealed himself in history, in our private history, and now in general history of human beings, all that, it's a, a Hashem's revelation. And one of the main, main uh, motive in, uh, in Hashem's revelation in history, it's a struggle between holiness and... Um, that, but I, I, I don't know how to call that. Maybe mundanely, you can hold, but also uh, we can. Uh, there is another, like, some uh, tension between yeah. the holidays and also uh, wisdom or human wisdom or rationality. I will say that, rationality. What's the uh, tension between them? It's very usually holiness, sanctity, sanctity, you say? Sanctity. Sanctity. 
it's usually very weak. It's holy, weak. And the mundanely or uh, rationality, usually it's strong and they uh, have a lot of power. And it looks like the connection between uh, Yaakov and Esav. You remember that uh, Yaakov, he was a good boy, good Jewish boy, that he learned Torah. And somehow his father, Isaac, Yitzchak, he loves Esav, not Yaakov. You remember that? What, mm. he's blind? Yes, he was just physically blind, but, but, but spiritually, emotionally, he wasn't bright, uh, blind. So why he wanted to give his blessing to his uh, bad son, Esav? Because... Itzhak and all of them, they know that they are not just private people, that they live their life and so uh, they fight for heritage. He will take uh, father's uh, horses and the uh, cows and he don't have and, they, and he wants to, to, uh, to give them a, a destiny. Say, no, no, no. Uh, 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 Your shall? Yes. Inheritance. Heritage. Inheritance. Inheritance. No. They talk about the blessing of Yitzchak. It's, they, it's that he wanted to, to decide it, what kind of power will be center power in history. Mm. He wanted to bring light of shame to, to people. But how he can bring this light if, uh, if Yaakov he is weak, he is a good boy. He have to struggle, he have to fight with all kind of, like a jungle, like with all kind of uh, sharks and, and, and the tigers and the predators. And the, the, he is he's not able. So... What he did, he decided to give this blessing to, to Esav, that he is stronger. And uh, he hoped that they will work together. Esav uh, will learn from Yaakov, and he will uh, do his, uh, he'll change all, uh, all, uh, uh, like a state, uh, how, how you um, conduct state and the, and the other na na nation, nation, uh, nations and the politics and the all kind of uh, things like this. But Yaakov understood that uh, Esav won't ask his advices. He won't be, he won't learn Torah from Yaakov. Esav has own ideology. And this ideology, it's like a Nazis. He has a lot of power and very, very smart. Esav was very smart. And um, Yaakov decided to take his power to himself because they can, can, cannot work together. And that's what he says to his father when he says, who are you? He says, I am Esav, your, uh, your son, your great uh, firstborn. firstborn son. He lied to him? No, he didn't lie. Why? Because you wanted to give your blessing to whom? To this guy with uh, Esav? What does it mean Esav? Esav is not just his uh, DNA. What does it mean Esav? His bones, his, uh, f his uh, blood. What is Esav? Brain? What is Esav? Esav is power. So this power, this reason that you want to give blessing to him, this, for this reason, I will be suit to this uh, to your goal i will take his spiritual power and i will be 
Esav. How I can prove you that? I will lie you. As, as he lied to you all, all your all lying, I also will lie you. But really, it's not lie. It's truth. Because he took, he learned how to be a sub. And when uh, uh, Itzhak understood that, he says, he also will be blessed. It's okay. I, I, I agree. You remember that, right? Mm-hmm. Now, the same, uh, the same uh, model its connection, us with Greeks. Greeks, they were very, very clever. And they gave to, to this world a lot, a lot of the, the best thing that we have today in our in, uh, contemporary, in, our, in, in those days, in our time. The best thing, it comes from, um, from, each, uh, from uh, Greeks. Politics, uh, science, uh, medicine, uh, architectures, uh, literature, uh, uh, arts, uh, theater, uh, democracy, all that, it's, it's uh, Greeks' words. Sport, all that, it's Greeks from, from them. And we talk in Greeks' language when we say all those things in them as a darkness. In, in, in English, when you talk about people that they belong to Greek culture, they call enlightenment, with the word light, enlightenment. Hazal said, no, no, they, are, they represent darkness. Why darkness? is because it's written in, the, in the Genesis. Uh, the, the earth was uh, in chaos, and these words, to uh, it's Bavel, Bo it's uh, Madai, Choshech Yavan, the Tehom Zeroma. Madai, it's Midian. They they define them as darkness. Why darkness? You can say that they are bad people, they are, uh, uh, make uh, sins, the transgressions, they are uh, all kinds of bad words we can say about them. But darkness is opposite. In order to understand that, I want to, to explain you what's the essence of Greek's philosophy, Greek's uh, way of looking. Uh, one, of his, uh, one of the great f- Greek philosophers, his name was Protagoras. Protagoras, he was in time of uh, Aristoteles and, uh, and Aplaton, he described Protagoras in his dialogues with uh, Socrates, but it's impossible. They lived in different time. Uh, but uh, but uh, Aplaton did like uh, took those ideas and they make them together. Right? What so? What Protagoras says? What's the idea of Protagoras? He he established kind of uh, philosophy that calls anthropocentric anthropocentric philo- philosophy. What does it mean? That he says uh, the the center of your thoughts, it should be men, human, not goddess, not spiritual, men. That's why when you want to make a war, don't look in stars if this is no good time for you and you feel if and uh, you should uh, suit yourself to stars uh, that they, that you will win in war but just learn how to win how to fight make stretch strategy make tactics make uh, be, be make exercise to be good soldier and then you will win war Forget about stars and about gods. Be sent, be concentrate on uh, on uh, men. You want to cure someone? Don't pray. Just give him medicine 
and he'll pray, and he'll be uh, healthy. It's, it was very rational, very wise ideas. And, and I want to uh, that we'll think deeply and we'll understand why it's bad. You understand, in the beginning, Chazal, uh, when they thought all that, they understood what it means. This was like a main ideology of uh, of Greeks. They had different ideas, but this was the, his their main uh, approach. And that's how Alexander Muc- uh, Macedon, how is it in English, Alexander? Alexander the Great. Uh, Alexander the Great, without Macedon? Alexander of Macedon. But he's Macedon, ah. Uh, you not say usually Alexander Mas- from Macedon. You say the, the Great. Okay. Alexander the Great, he was a student of uh, Aristoteles. He also was a philosopher and he conquered all, uh, not just all he, Europe, but also he went to, to India and to, to Africa. He was great uh, success. Chazal so, thought, okay, so if, if the highest, your highest level, if everything, if it's the best thing, it's your, your brain, you, wisdom, rationality, thought, and you have achieved great uh, achievement, a great result they have. They analyzed all that and they understand it's terrible. Why it's terrible? Why rationality, wisdom, is terrible without, without spiritual life? it takes Hashem out of the equation. It makes you think that it's all from you, yourself. So what? What's the problem? Then you don't recognize where it comes from. You don't appreciate okay. where it comes okay, from. Okay, you are stupid. So what? <laughs> Why it's so terrible? There's no point? Oh, it's already closer. No, I'll give you another example. I have uh, someone, there's some acquaintance that he's a psychologist. He works in a, he, uh, in Chutzlar, it's in a abroad of Israel. And he, he's a professor in psychology, and he told me, the, uh, ask my, my advice, I want to ask my opinion. He told me this story. Uh, some guy applied to him. Uh, to ask his advice, what's uh, about the story? He, I, I told you this story already about him. No, uh, it's it's a very special story. He he was uh, uh, he grew up in uh, with his parents in some town, and then uh, when he was thirteen years old, he left his home and went to be, to serve in army. Like it was, it, it's not army. It, like uh, to learn how to be in uh, army service. And then when he was eighteen, he became uh, be uh, an army officer, and uh, they finished their uh, uh, career in uh, when they are forty, forty-five years old, and he he get married, divorced. And when he became about 45, he left his uh, uh, army. And when he get out of army, he recognized that he has nobody in this world that close to him, some somebody that he loves him, somebody that uh, his parents died. And the friends he doesn't have because each time he went from one place to another place and there's an army and the family he doesn't have, nobody. And only he had a sister that she lives in the same house that his parents lived and he, when he left his home, she was eight years old. He, he hardly knows her. But he decided to, to, to visit her. He went visit her. She she also was divorced with child, and oh, very good. Uh, they loved each other, and they decided to marry. 
<laughs> he hardly know here. He wouldn't recognize him in the street. Well, he has uh, the some the same blood. There's no almost uh, memories from here. Nothing. So I ask him, and he asks now, this psychologist, there is some problem with that, that I married my sister? There is some problem? We live together. What's the problem? And I ask the psychologist, so, okay, and what did you answer to her? He says, me? Who am I that I can answer to him? I'm a psychologist. I'm not his priest. I'm not uh, that. What can I tell to him? What? Why not? And though that it's a weird question, but I want to ask you, why not? Well, there's, I guess, two levels. There's the, on a physical level, it's because it's just, you know, not healthy for society to run that way and it brings inbred children with defects into the world but on a spiritual level simply because God told us not to God but in, in first that. level they don't want to have children anymore she is old already to, to bring children but if you, if you permit something like that in society then from 40 fine. years old and further. It doesn't matter. It, it, the, 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 the principle of the thing is... Why? You, well, you can say uh, today there are things that... Uh, to, to, to buy a cigarette, in the, you can say, from 18 years old. To get your, to be married to your sister from 40 years old. I think it's about a, a line that you don't cross. It's a principle. Why? But why? Because, okay... 40, so why not 35? What's it's the same you can ask 40? about 18, 18 years old. Why not to, why not to bring to the, some... Uh, yeah, each one is special. Yeah, why do I you know, wait till I'm 21 to drink? I'm, I'm, I'm 15, I want to drink, you know? Yes, yes, exactly. That's what <laughs> and I'm... then the slippery slope. And but, okay, the but still, so there is law. Lines. So I can also say it's first thing. Second thing, it, I'll tell you... Yeah. And when he did this with uh, the mother of his uh, father? When he, uh, uh, his yes, son. you know, uh, it's one of, one of the very important things if I, I, I want to teach you in uh, general, in all lessons. Don't believe what you read in Torah. And you said that before. <laughs> no, really. What it's written in Torah, it's not truth. Only when it's when Hazal said something and Torah says something, only those things together they are truth. But Torah itself, without Hazal, it's a poison. Hazel said it will rule, it's something that's ruling your life. It's terrible things, Torah without Hazel. For example, we can think that uh, David did this sin with Bathsheba, but it's written. Or Reuven, he sleep with Bilha, father's wife. It's written. But Chazal in the, in the Tractat Shabbat says that it's never happened. So why it's written? That is, uh, it's all, uh, all lesson. I have to, to once explain you all lesson, but shortly I'll tell you. It's written this way in order to give you impression what he did. It's like if you want to say to someone, in Nicaragua, that uh, someone uh, insults you. You have friend in Nicaragua or Mozambique. You have someone insult you. He told you that you are uh, you, you you're not expert in the, in the tractat of uh, Babakama. 
he will never understand you. So what you have to tell him in order that he will understand you? That he kill you. And then you uh, became alive again. How is that? Resur resurrection? Resurrection. And, 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 and it happened to you resurrection. Then he can say, ah, kill you. Wow, terrible. And resurrect. Oh, very good. He doesn't understand what it means you are not deep <laughs> expert in Baba Kama. Torah tells us in this way in order that we'll understand that it was some, something terrible. But Torah by Balpe, uh, like uh, Hazal says, no, no, it's really, it didn't happen really. It's just in order to, to, to shake you. But it's long story and, I, and what I tell you now is have to I have to bring you a lot of like uh, quotes a lot of uh, improvement that what that what how we should learn Torah but now I did I wasn't uh, uh, prepared for that so I have no um, quotes to, to teach you but you should know that is Chazal says Torah without Chazal it's a poison that is what it's written in Gemara in the uh, Talmud. Uh, now we go back to to psychologist. Why they shouldn't marry? You know, it's very difficult to answer to this question, and uh, there are a lot of uh, people say, really, why not? In America, a few years ago, I told you about Monica Mars. No, no, Monica Mars. She's from California or something like that. She get married with her son. And it was very, very uh, famous. You can uh, today write in uh, Google, write Monica Mars and here's her son. And you have all those uh, information. They get married. She loves him. Love is about uh, above everything. It's love. What you can do? Oh, my love! Understand? That what Hazal understand. If there is anthropocentric, anthropocentric system, Protagoras, man in his the uh, like a measure of everything. So uh, there is no reason to say not to get married with, uh, with your sister or with your daughter. And I can give you a lot of examples like this. Today, there is a lot of uh, clinics in the, on all the world. Child can come to these clinics and they, they make him operation and they, he became from boy to girl with all kinds of uh, ho uh, uh, hormones and uh, that, it, 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 it's, it's, it's irreversible. And they do it in all the world. Why not? And do you know that there is no answer to this question? Why not? That's what his will. I want, that is what we decided to do. That's why Hazal called to Greeks darkness. And then they make war against of them. Now, this war, there's like a few ways how to make this war. One way it's to, to win, to, to break your enemy, to destroy your, your, your enemy. Okay, it's one way. There is another way to run, to run away. There is a third way that you can take something good that your enemy has and to adapt it, to make it yours, to take his power and to use it, this power for good, for your, for your uh, goals. And that's what uh, Hazal did with Greeks. They recognize that they are clever, that they have a lot of power, 
and they decided to be like them, to learn from them a lot of good things. And that's why they call themselves Sanhedrin. What does it mean, Sanhedrin? Sanhedrin, it was a, a, like an ac academy for philosophy. It was for, for a, it's, it's, that was a name, the place of the name, na name of the place that people that work in, uh, in a philosophical, they called themselves Sanhedrin. In Greeks? In Greeks. It's Greeks like me. And we, Chazal, understood that, and they took this power and they start to call them Sanhedrin. Chacham Adif Minavi, they say. They, there is some, uh, something prefer, preferable in, uh, in wise men than in, with, in prophet. There is something that they can use this power. And that's what Yaakov did with Esav. You remember what he, he struggled with Esav? With angel of Esav. And in this, in this battle, how it's finished, the angel blessed es uh, Yaakov. You remember he says, uh, release me, I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go uh, to heaven. He says, no, I want to release you be uh, before you will bless me. He says, okay, I will bless you. What is your name? Yaakov. Never more. No, any, not anymore. Now you combine Yaakov with Esav and all those together it calls Israel. That is the meaning of Israel. Israel. Your combination of, uh, of uh, Yaakov, that he is uh, good, nice, quiet, and also inner power, he has the power of uh, Esav. That was before. But after he became Israel. Israel, that is, uh, that is the meaning of this, uh, of this uh, word Israel. Israel that you can, uh, that uh, you, you have sanctity, 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 without R, sanctity, R, sanctity and power together. And that's what we celebrate in Hanukkah. We celebrate winning in the war. It, it's right. But we have a lot of kind of winning victories. But we never had this kind of victory that, uh, that we won them by taking power from them. We always broke them. We always, always uh, destroyed them. And now we, we took from something from that. It's higher level. And the miracle, it's like a sign for us that uh, your, uh, your success in, in, in a battle, in war, it comes from heaven. It's not that what we... The, the miracle here, it's, a, it's like, a, no, like a hint where it comes from. That's why the main thing in Hanukkah, it's not, uh, it's not in the memory of, uh, of a miracle. It's, a, it's winning of the war. Bezat Hashem will win in our contemporary war also. Bezat Hashem. Hanukkah Sameach.